convicted murderer Ginaldo Farrington returned to Supreme Court today to face sentencing after being convicted last October for the murder of banker Stephen Sherman and the armed robbery of Sherman's niece. But Jiminy Deswain tells us that he will have to wait a few more days to find out whether he gets life in prison or faces the death penalty. When 24-year-old Ginaldo Farrington returned to court Wednesday, probation and psychiatric reports compiled on his behalf were read to the court. His attorney, Muriel Ducille, and prosecutor Sandra D. Gardner also presented mitigation pleas. Probation officer Janice McKenzie noted that the convict came from a single-parent home. Regarding the matter before the court, Farrington vehemently denied committing the offense, but instead she said he told her that he was tortured by police and later signed the statement because he was in fear. McKenzie concluded that Farrington has shown no remorse for something he maintains he did not do, and while in prison, he has not broken any rules. Psychiatrist Srivian Boda established in his report that Farrington shows no remorse because he does not feel he is guilty. He diagnosed Farrington with a marijuana misuse disorder because he said the convict told him he had been using marijuana from a much younger age. The psychiatrist could not say if Farrington would be remorseful without taking responsibility for his actions. He also could not speak to the probability of Farrington reoffending. In his mitigation submissions, attorney Muriel Ducille said his client is a young man with no previous convictions. He said Farrington could be sentenced to life or death in prison, but he appealed to Justice Roy Jones to exercise his discretion in deciding an appropriate sentence. He admitted that while his client shows no remorse, that position is consistent with that of his defense of innocence. Conversely, Prosecutor Sandra D. Gardner highlighted the reasons why the case attracts a death penalty. She pointed out that it was a contract killing and that it was committed with the offense of armed robbery. Gardner said Stephen Sherman was a productive member of society, a father, and a banker. She also indicated that the firearm used in the murder was never recovered. Gardner asked Justice Jones to take note of the way Sherman was killed with gunshots to the back of the head, which lessened his chances of survival. Additionally, Gardner said Farrington had ample opportunity to remove himself from the contract kill, but instead recruited another person. She recommended the appropriate sentence should be death or life in prison. Farrington returns to court on May 8th at 10 a.m. for sentencing. Until that time, he will remain remanded at Her Majesty's prison. Jiminy Swain, ZNS Network News.